Coming off a massive series victory on the road at Corvallis, the Walla Walla Suites turn their attention to a non-league matchup as they get set for a three-game series for the Northwest Star Nighthawks. Alive from historic Borleski Stadium in Walla Walla, it's West Coast League Baseball on the Suites Digital Network. And with that, we're so happy you could join us this evening from Walla Walla and Historic Borleski Stadium. I'm Gary Erdley. Touching on things this past week, well, in these past three games, Sweets, a great spot. Over the weekend, took two out of three, took each of the first two over Corvallis. That's huge. Something that they haven't done in over five years was the last time the Sweets went to Goss Stadium and took two of three over Corvallis and the Knights. They dropped the final matchup of the series, but still taking two out of three, huge accomplishment for a team that really desperately needed wins, and doing it against a team like the Knights means a whole lot going forward for the Sweets. They get a little bit of a break from West Coast League play, playing against an non-league matchup in the Northwest Star Nighthawks, so a little bit of time to breathe get a different look at things, and get set for three versus Yakima after these three in non-league play. Big matchup upcoming in Yakima Valley in the Battle of the Basin after these three versus the Nighthawks, but a whole lot to look at as a positive going into this series uh, out of West Coast League play. A lot of new faces in the lineup expected tonight. A whole lot of new names, and we'll touch on them in just a little bit. When we come back, we'll get you set for first pitch, as well as hear from Sweets manager and Jared Molnar. More we return to Sweets pregame presented by Washington's Lottery. What would you do with an extra $200? Go shopping? Buy that new barbecue for summer? We're making it easy to earn extra cash when a new member opens a free Ascend checking at P1FCU using the promo code MY200. You'll get $200 deposited in your account if you meet the requirements. Open your account and learn how to earn $200 at p1fcu.org slash my200. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. We welcome you back in the Sweets pregame presented by Washington's Lottery. Garrett Ali joined, rejoined alongside manager Jared Molna. I know it was kind of really hard to not be in the dugout in the last couple, but for your team and your guys took two out of three versus one of the best summer league teams in the country in Corvallis and the Knights. Let's talk on that. How proud of a moment was that to see your guys go out and perform like that all weekend long? Yeah, it was a great, great series. Uh, you know, um, it was kind of the chatter uh, the week prior about where we were heading, who we were playing, and naturally so, being that they're the six-time defending champ in the league, you know, it's the, the team with the target on their back. Uh, but I thought our guys, like you said, rose to the occasion and played great, great baseball, especially those first two nights. Um, I mean, we pitched the heck out of it, made a bunch of plays, and, man, we were swinging it. We were we were putting together quality at bat after at bat after at bat, and even if we got handed some free stuff with the walks, which is a little bit uncharacteristic for a Corvallis pitching staff, at the end of the day, some of those weren't just four-pitch walks. Some of those were earned walks, and... Um, that's the kind of quality at bat that we that we need to keep taking throughout the summer to put us in position to keep winning ball games. Well, that's something we talked about with a lot of different guys, especially near the top of the order, working more towards the middle as of late. Andrew Graham won the highlight. That's almost every time he steps up. But you're seeing that one through nine now in a big part of the year trying to get wins, going to a non-league uh, today with a whole lot of new faces. Let's touch on some of those guys. A lot to be excited about, almost an entirely new lineup with a lot of guys stepping in. Some guys to highlight, a couple Seattle U guys, a whole lot of dudes to look at and expect some good things out. Just touch on them. Yeah, no, today uh, getting back uh, super early this morning, um, having a non-league is a great opportunity for us to get these guys that have been playing night in, night out, and just took a really, really long bus ride home, getting home early. Um, and the com com combining that with getting a bunch of new faces in tonight's a perfect opportunity to get those guys off their feet, slide the new guys in, s really just throw them to the fire, see what they got. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got a new face at shortstop, Sebastian Lopez out of Seattle U. Um, excited. He's really, really excited to watch him uh, come out, uh, get his feet wet, and just start playing ball. I mean, that kid can play. So really, really excited to watch him play the six for us tonight. Uh, Aiden Espinoza, an incoming guy to UCLA, has taken phenomenal swings um, early on in what I've been seeing. So I'm juiced. I'm super juiced to get that kid in the lineup and watch him cut it loose. Uh, Cooper Jones, um, with, with the way that we're, uh, we're constructed and the defensive catchers that we have on this lineup, uh, for him to get in there and get a crack will be great. 
Um, so yeah, just a great opportunity for a bunch of guys to, to get some time and, and get some ABs. Let's touch on some of those catchers. We saw Spear a lot back into the fold. It means a lot to a lot of the fans in, here in Walla Walla. Davis Carr, you want to talk about meaning a lot to the community. He's one as well that you look at. So much depth behind the dish, and Jones being another one, a high-end Division One catcher incoming to Washington State, having that ability to see a guy like that, young kid, get reps in a spot like this and work under two pretty solid catchers, especially defensively, how big is that for him? No, it's a, it's a heck of an opportunity, and it, it's not necessarily the easiest one to learn in um, because especially a kid um, and young man that's uh, – been the kind of player that he's been he's not used to necessarily being in the back seat so this is kind of a his first taste of that you know um but at the same time uh we've seen it from a coaching staff those guys having conversations cooper trying to pick those guys' brains so he's doing what he should be doing with that opportunity and yeah those two that um the two older guys there on the roster with with kev and davis i mean just phenomenal defensive ability uh, within those two young men. So the opportunity for Cooper to both learn from those guys when he's not in the lineup, but take what he's learning from those guys and what he already does really, really well himself into any opportunity he gets for us in the game is perfect for him. So, Going back and touching on that trip to Corvallis a little bit briefly, first time in five years the Swedes have gone to Goss Stadium, took two out of three. You do that in your first season as someone who knows about the prestige of this league, coaching in it, playing in it, playing and wearing this uniform with the Swedes. Still very early in the year and still have a lot more you're looking to accomplish, but there's a big milestone right there uh, to put under, your, put under your belt. Talk about that, getting that and already making history earlier on in your career uh, coaching with the Swedes. Yeah, I don't know if I necessarily would say I'm putting it under my belt or anything, but obviously um, being familiar with the league, like, I mean, anytime you get a chance to go win a series on anybody's yard is phenomenal. Um, but obviously when it's the king of the hill and the big dog on campus, if you will, like it always means a little bit more. So to go in and play great ball against a good club and take two from them at their field, I mean, uh, yeah, awesome accomplishment. Um, I think it just comes down to the quality of baseball we played, and that's really all we're focused on all summer long is keeping that, that quality uh, showing up every night, being consistent with that quality of ball. So uh, really, really awesome to do. Um, cool to, cool to kind of know we pulled that off, but at the end of the day, we gotta, we got to move on and keep playing good ball. There's a whole lot more that you look at than just beating another team. That's how you look at it a little bit. Just taking down another team on their home turf means a whole lot, but just another uh, three-game series. Going in and talking about the positive from that series was pitching. Tonight, Otho Savage working on the mound versus the Nighthawks. Seeing him for the first time in a little bit. Expectations out of him. A guy who has had some um, solid innings and solid at-bats with the Sweets already. Yeah, no, I mean, and I got an opportunity to see Otho compete all spring, and, man, he shut down some big-time lineups and had some big-time performances. So I think the first couple were probably a little, like, um, kind of getting your feet wet opportunities for him, kind of calming his brain down, letting him slow himself back down to get real, real comfortable so he's just out there thinking about pitching as opposed to the crowd or the new team, the new teammates, the new catcher, all those new elements. So excited to kind of see him be a little bit more settled. Uh, than he was the first two and just watch him compete because there's no doubt he can he can go out and compete against anybody in this league coach I appreciate your time when we come back we'll get you set with first pitch get your starting lineups it's a new one for the Swedes and we'll get you ready for that in just a moment this has been Swedes pregame presented by Washington's Lottery if we win the lottery we'd remodel our home we'd start with the kitchen Ooh. and out back is where the big trucks will go live here anymore? Hey, don't forget about Grandma. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, family meeting. Come on, welcome to the Ice Dome. What's up, guys? Sweets pregame presented by Washington Lottery. I'm here, Kevin Spear, with my fellow catcher, Cooper Jones. Cooper, how are you feeling today? Pretty good, you know, a little overcast. Maybe some rain here in a little bit, but overall pretty good. Yeah, you know, Cooper, getting your first start tonight here in the first week and a half. How are you feeling? You what are you, what are you doing to prepare for this this big game for you tonight? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. Pretty locked in, you know. Had a couple Red Bulls before this, so 
that caffeine flowing. Nice, nice. That's how you get going. You know, it's a guaranteed two for three day. You know, Cooper, long bus ride last night. What was, I mean, did you sleep all right? Are you are you ready? Are you ready to rock today? I am. You know, slept on the floor a little bit. Um, took uh took quite a while, you know, to fall asleep there, but overall doing pretty good. Yeah, this bus ride's a little tough on the body, but you know, we're ready to rock today. So, so Cooper, walk walk me through this. So, you know, we start every day in Victoria and. We get a little off weekend and in Corvallis. I mean, what what are we doing to prepare mentally, physically for this this big game today? Well, you know, mentally it's got to stay locked in no matter what. You know, I'm from catching a pen, um, just playing. You know, a short flat ground with my buddy. You know, whoever. You know, I'm locked in. Yeah, that's good. You know, this, those pens are a, a big thing for me. That was a big thing for me last year. Is just not get to play every day. Is is staying locked in the pen and and getting my guys ready and hot. So Cooper, you know you're a Walla Walla kid. What does this mean for you to play back in Walla Walla and in, in, in your hometown? Uh, it means everything. You know, I used to come to these games every day as a little kid at season tickets or you know hop the fence, getting into the field or whatnot. But it's awesome. You know, I have a lot of kids come up to me, and it's pretty cool being a role model for them. Yeah, I see you take every opportunity to side those balls, don't you? Oh, every opportunity. Nice, dude. That's awesome. All right, uh, Sweets pregame presented by Washington Lottery. Thank you. Great job. Great job. <laughs> you killed it. You killed it. He's amazing. He's amazing.